So guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to render a table in React. We're not going to use libraries, we're not going to use anything, just a plain HTML table created using just the React components. So here I have my basic React component. And before we move forward to creating our own table, I want to show you something. I'm going to add a message to the console in our components constructor. But if I run this app in the browser, you will see that constructor messages output it two times. Now, this is actually not a bug and it's not happening because we're initializing the component and that React is re-rendering it again. It's nothing like that. This is because React is running in strict mode. So go ahead and go to your index.js file and here remove the React strict mode tags. Now let's go back to our app and if I refresh it again, you will see that the constructor is printed only once. Now React does that in strict mode to make sure that our components are pure, but in this tutorial, we don't really care about that. And to avoid any confusion running our components more than once, it's best to disable the strict mode. So to create a table, first we need some data. So I'm going to add this array of three objects into our app in global scope and it's going to be cities so this is going to be the default value for our table each object consists of name and temperature and that's pretty much it so we're going to use the use state hook in this tutorial so i'm going to go ahead and import use state from react and now that we have imported it I'm going to go into the constructor of our app and create a new data object for containing these cities. So I'm going to go here and type const, open brackets and define our variable name, which is going to be rows because that's what tables have. Tables have rows and I'm going to use use state. And here I'm going to paste the name of our default array into here. So now this rows state variable is going to contain the data for our rows in the table. Now we're going to create our own table using React components. So we're going to need row and we're going to need table. So the first thing I'm going to do is create the row and this component is going to look like this. So it's just an arrow function and we're going to pass props. So we need to include props and the second component is going to be table and table is going to render all of our rows. So we're going to finish creating the row component now. And, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to destructure the props into the names. So const brackets and the names were from the array name and temperature because that's what we have in the cities array. So that's what's going to be passed into the props as an object to render a single row. So the return value is going to be a TR tag because that's how HTML tables work. And inside the TR, we're going to have the TD tag for displaying our name and the second one for displaying temperature. So pretty basic stuff. This will display our table columns. So at this point, our rows component is complete. And remember guys, we're going to pass the props and it's going to contain name and temperature. And then we're going to render that as a TR block. So I'm going to minimize this. Now in the table component, we're going to get the props as well, but it's going to be received as data. And to render the table, we're going to use the return and the return value will be the actual table in HTML. So table tag. And remember guys in react, when you render tables, you must use T body tag as well, or you'll get a console error. And so here's the whole key to rendering tables in react. We're going to use the arrays built in map function. So, we're going to get this data that we passed from props and it's going to be an array. 
So arrays have a map method on them. So I'm going to use that. And using this map method, we can render all of those rows. So here's how. We need to name each array value. So here I'm going to name it row. And inside the brackets here, each entry from the array is going to be represented by this row variable, which means it will have name and temperature property. And so now here we're going to insert our row component that we created earlier to render it. So now I'm going to use the row component that we created in the previous step over here. And I'm going to pass name and temperature as separate props into this component. So the first prop I'm going to use is name. And I'm going to grab the value from row. Because remember, that's what we're passing from our main component. This array it has name and temperature. So the second prop I'm going to pass is the temperature. So I'm going to create it right in the component. Type temperature equals row dot temperature. And I'm going to close this component. So we have our table almost ready for rendering. So I'm going to go back into our main component here. And I'm going to start using the table component we just created. I'm going to use the data prop and I'm going to pass the rows from the use state that we created earlier here. So it's going to be equal cities, but we're going to pass it as rows into the data prop on the table. And so I made this really small mistake on the table. Let me just output the data and you will see that we have this array in our console. But the table is not rendering because I made this one classic mistake. I forgot to return our row component from the map method. So here, all I have to do is remove the brackets and the component will be automatically returned. And so guys, at this point, if I run this app, you will see the table is being rendered in the browser. So the lesson here, every time you render with map, make sure not to use the brackets and simply return the row component right away. So here's the brackets I'm talking about. Um, do not use them. And so guys, our table is working and you can check by changing the values here in the cities array and refreshing the app again. You will see that the actual values have changed in, in the React view as well. The only problem here in the console, we have an error and basically rendering a list of components requires using a key. So I'm going to use the index for the key here, which is not the best practice, but it's a simple example. And in many simple cases, it actually is acceptable. You can also put it inside a backtick string and create a more unique key here. Let's say key dash index. So now let's run the app again. You'll see that now that we added the key, the react error in the console is going to disappear. So guys, this is pretty much how to make your own tables in react using just the components.